Yes. And I'm glad that another old preacher yeah. came in with the Bible says that he withstood him to the faith right. when he started trying to mix law with yeah. grace, right. trying to mix circumcision with salvation yeah. and all like that. Bless and I tell you, he got, got wrong. Yeah. He got wrong. He was afraid of, of, of the Jews and That's what right. they would think. And I tell you, where you were in church, and you always worried and wondered what somebody else is thinking or saying. If you do do anything, I tell you, get right with God and be doing yeah. the glory of God. Yeah. When God talked to that little virgin girl down there, the angel spoke with her and told her she's going to have a soul, a, a son, and his name should be called Jesus. Yeah. I, I tell you, finally, she said, Lord, let me say thy word, let it be done. Yeah. And then she finally said, she said, my soul magnify the Lord. Yeah. 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 And I tell you, that's why there's too many Christians getting out chunder. They're going on their jobs day in and day out. And I tell you, they look like everybody else and walk like everybody Everybody else. I tell you, it's time to clean the house up. Yeah. I tell you, Jesus said, they're in one place when they come to eat in the Pharisees. And there they criticize them for eating. They're with unborn hand. Yeah. And I tell you, yeah. Jesus, he rebuked them. He told them. Yeah. And he said, it's not what. And there it goes in the mouth. Oh, it defiles the man. He said, for what kind? Of, for out of hundreds of heart, the mouth speaks. Right. And, and he said, tonight, I, it's not what goes in there. It's not what comes out. The Bible says, Said, as a man thinks, so is he. Yeah. That's get me tonight sometimes. Yeah. And that's me a shame sometimes. Yeah. There are the some things that I might let a dwell there just a little bit and pet it just a little bit. Yeah. But when it comes out, yeah. we need to cry out to God and say, Oh God, and draw that demon yeah. fall out of my mind. Amen. Amen. You can do it tonight. Yeah. There's so many, so many. This lust of the flesh. Yeah. I, I used to read that and think. You know why? When the lust of the eye come first. Yeah. yeah. But it's already in the flesh. Yeah. When man, when Adam took of that tree, yeah. he took of that tree, he was born in all of us. Yeah. The nature, the lust of the flesh. Yeah. The lust of the eye, then the pride of life. And David is a good example of that. Yeah. Now I tell you, he knows he's wrong, but he's still the pride. Yeah. The pride. He walked in pride, and sees the king, and like he could do whatever he wanted to. So the Pharisees, they was a lot like that. Yeah. And Jesus, he said, yeah. they, uh, they, yeah. they talked a lot of what was right, but Jesus said, now do as they say, but not as they yeah. I tell you, we need to be an example, especially us that's got children and grandchildren. We better be an example to them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the, uh, they know how we live at home. That's right. Amen. And I tell you, and if we don't live right in front of them, they ain't, they're going to grow up and they sure don't want to live right. Amen. Right. Right. I tell you, right. I say, well, pop on say that or do something like that. There won't be nothing wrong with me. And I tell you this old theory, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and do it. The part of the lust and knowing it's sin, you yes. ought to forgive. I tell you, that, that's a, that's a troublesome yeah. way to walk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, that, I tell you, you'll find trouble. Yeah. And I've seen people doing that and it seem like they just go on and on and on. They'll never, nothing come upon them. And I wonder about someone. I, I'm not the judge, but the word is. Yeah. Uh, you know, some say, well, I, I'm not to judge on the fruit inspector. I'm not even a fruit inspector. But the word of God is a fruit inspector. And I tell you sometimes, and sometimes I've got to look it off somewhere else. And then God run me back. Let this let this look in like let me see they right in here. But now uh, Peter, I tell you, he's one of a man of God. And I tell you, when you go, when they go, uh, their life was at stake ever everywhere they went. Apostle Paul read and study about his life. He, he traveled, he first of all, he went down there to Jerusalem. And they stoned him down there and throwed him out of the city. Yeah. Uh, and said, though he were dead, and I believe he was dead. Because I find, I can't remember, maybe Second Corinthians over there somewhere. He said, I knew a man about 14 years ago, whether in body or out of body. He said, I know not. But such a one caught up in the third heaven. That's right. yeah. I believe that was Paul. Yeah. And I believe God just put lift him up just a little while. Yeah. They sat down there him. Yeah. Hey, I tell you, I, I get there every now and then. Hey, I tell you, here uh, you know, I've been, you know, about four years ago, I hit one of the worst battles I've ever faced in my whole life. I've had sickness and injury and different things like that, but this was a spiritual battle. I didn't know what to do. But I tell you, I got down on my knees inside my bed, and I went, I'd go through my normal 
prayer, you know, but that day when I hit my knees, my Lord started talking to me. I just laid there and he blessed my soul. He blessed my soul. He said, son, I'm with you. Amen. And he said, you preached, you stood for me. He said, I'm going to stand. I'll always stand for you. Amen. I remember my son down in Georgia, down there, was coming back up in the state. Al Crawford, you remember him? Yeah. He called me on the phone. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you, I, I looked like the worst wolf pup you've ever seen. That's Just so inside of my own and waiting, crying. Yeah. Boy, he got to talk to me. And, and I done talk. I went over there just a little while before. And I said, Brother, I said, I need you to help me pray. I said, There's a war going on. Remember, we broke yeah. out. And I said, I need a brother. He told me exactly what was coming next. And he did. Yeah. Just like he told me. And we was coming up there, and I was down and down. He called me on the phone. And we talked maybe uh, hours, maybe an hour, 45 minutes there. And my son, Jason, he said, you want to stop and get something to eat? I said, yeah, just pull over anywhere. He pulled into the Wendy's. And they, they, Jason went on in. I got out in the parking lot, and I was talking to him just a few more minutes. I said, well, I'm going to go in here. <laughs> we got to, I reached him, got to, got to the door. And I opened up, started walking in the Spirit of God, hit me. I tell you, if you've been on the coast, the land of black folks, they had to know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I went in and told Chase, I said, the Spirit of God just run all over me. Amen. And I know me down. Amen. God will take care of you. Children will take care of you. But have you got a testimony? Hey, have you got a testimony? To it's, it's all. I tell you, start using it. Now, yeah, I'm not saying it right right now. The Bible tells us not to cast our prayer from the swine. Yeah. Uh, now, now, God, somebody out there in the world is lost. Yes, we need to go talk to them. We need to share with them. But He's not telling us to go run up and down the streets, run up and down the street, start shouting your testimony. I'm saved and saved. No, just live a life. Amen. 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 Just live a life. Amen. Amen. That's what it shows. And I tell you, one <coughs> time. Uh, there is, uh, there's so much immorality everywhere you go. Yeah. The language, I tell you, the filthy language, everywhere. Yeah. Yes. And I tell you, when I was, my, my, my granddad had a marriage going down there, and the Lord saved him before he left here. And he got rid of that thing, and it shut down today. I pray God shut him down and shut down. Yeah. And I tell you, um, Lord, I've lost my friend. Bless you, Lord. But now, testimony is. Oh, I don't know what was going on. But he wouldn't allow him. He didn't want no vulgar talking. Yeah, and cussing, especially around a woman. Yeah. But they don't care that they're gay. No. They don't care in front of my wife, yours, do they? That's right. Used right. to, you know, the people that had respect on the right. Yep. And if a n nasty mouth man would jump up in front of a man's wife, I tell you, they barely can. That's right. right. They barely right. can, but people had respect. Right. They, they had respect for the people of God. That's right. For God's people, God's church. Uh, you know when they when a preacher or a Christian come around, uh, they they uh, what's your language? Yes. In the home around the children, what's your language? Yeah. But they're not anymore. Yeah. And the devil's loose. Let me tell you something. He's loose. Yeah. Right. Some say, well, he's going. God's going to turn him loose. He's loose. He's loose. He's loose. He's loose. Yeah. And I tell you, but now what's happened here on this altar this week? That can tie him up. Amen. Amen. And I tie him up, keep him out that door. Right? That's right. Amen. But now it's going to take some works, church. Yeah. It's, going to, uh, it's a time for church. It's a time for preaching, singing, a time for praying. But it's a time for God to wake us up and say, yeah. Yeah. "Go." Amen. That's right. Call their names in. Put a list for them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if they're out of the will, they may be saved. But if they're not living a life, put their name on there. That's right. Pray for them just like they're lost and undone. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to take prayer. Like, like, uh, but. I tell you, I've been a lot of other places. You can hardly hear an older prayer from me. Yeah. Hey, that's right. And it, 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 they just no power. That's right. Hey, and there's been times I got down on something and I just couldn't get my voice through. You do. It takes the Lord to even help us pray. That's right. right. Yeah. The church has so been so good. Yes, it but he said, no, I didn't get nowhere where I thought we was going tonight. But he said, be ready to give everyone an action of the hope that lies within you. What is that hope? Can I be? Over in Romans, he spoke about hope in chapter 8. He said, now hope that it seems not hope. He said, or else what would a man have the hope for? But we hope for that that we see not. <coughs> and I tell you tonight, who are you? I don't think maybe maybe the first night or something we opened up, maybe a little title. What are you worth? I tell you what you're worth tonight. You're a joint heir of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are an heir of God. Amen. An heir of God. This we're going to lose us. And I tell you, uh, it may not be many years that big bank up yonder, but there'll be God 
going to come foreclose on the properties and the homes and all like that. Government owned, government control. Yeah. Back there right now. But I've got something over yonder that can yeah. touch yeah. or tax or yeah. tax. Yeah. I've got something in here that can do. Yeah. I might go down there, cut my head off, but praise be to God for it. It's around. I'm going to be the same. Shout out to the Lord. Amen. Be strong, Thank church, you, in the Lord. Yeah. Be yeah. strong. Yeah. And I tell you, when you pass by, that sinner said, Lord, open his eyes. Yes. Lord, cut that heart for that yes. Lord, that he might realize he's lost. You'll never get them saved until you get them lost. Amen. And I tell you Amen. tonight, over there in Revelation, there's a lot I don't understand over there, but that white throne judgment, far gone, sealed gone, I tell you, that's a horrible place. Amen. And the saddest words in all the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, the saddest words yes. is the part for me. Amen. The worker of them. Amen. Amen. I never knew that. There's a song I can't. I, there's not been to church for years. There's not. I can't even sing "Days and Grace" all the way through in the state. But I tell you, there's a song I never knew. I never knew. You children, you do need Jesus. There's coming time you need Jesus. And I tell you, He's deal when He deals with your heart. It's not when mom and dad. They know when He's close. Preacher, the, the preacher in the church. They know when He's close. But it's when God speaks to that heart. That's right. When he calls you, that's the time that's to get up. Right. Amen. And then when these little ones hit this hall, you men of God and, and yeah. women of God, I tell you, just get down there. Yeah, and I, I tell you, Brother Hawk, you do a lot of them. I got most of them. You don't have to tell them anything. That's right. But I'll tell them, I said, just call on this Jesus. Say, yeah. 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 And I said, he will. Yeah. And I tell you, I, I've not had a one to come up. I've not told a one of them to saved. I ask them. And I've not had a one of them. You know, not seen a whole lot of them. But they all said the Lord saved me. Yeah. The Lord saved me. Yeah. And they come with the with the, the, the fruits of repentance, a broken heart, tears streaming down. Those come life and giving and carrying on, I tell you, they ain't nothing to deal with them. And they get up and go back the same way. They ain't nothing to deal with them. That's right. I tell you, 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 you see, I, I'm about to you see a sinner. You see their countenance change. Mm -hmm. His mom probably shared with him. Rotten, rotten man he went on. But God saved him. Yeah. You've seen his countenance change. Yeah. And so, but I'm glad tonight. Yeah. When I mention Moses and different ones, they, I'm sure they tell you, I'm thankful. Yeah. I serve a merciful God. Hey, I love you, Lord. I, I, I tell you, church, it ain't everywhere you can go and find bread to preach. It's been so good this week. Yeah. It's been good tonight. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to quit. Yeah. But, but Jesus has certainly helped me. I have had revival in my heart. Yes. In Rocky, we got a point when we preached revival at the Log Church on the, on the no good service. We used to be a prayer and plan on taking part there as well. I tell you, God's still got revival. Amen. I've been in Amen. revival this week. Amen. But he's wonderful in it tonight. Amen. He's, Amen. To Jesus. Amen. he's so everything. Amen. And he is the same as song. You know, I'm glad. He didn't go to prayer with him. Yeah, he's, he's still yeah, little children saying, you know, don't judge me yet. He's still working on me. Yeah, yeah, we're getting better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day we, when we get this whole hour again, I'll be what yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. us to be. Yeah, yeah. But having a testimony, yeah. having a testimony, yeah. especially now, yeah. uh, you know, testify to your children yeah. and your grandchildren. Yeah. Just maybe when they come in one day, just sit down. Say, son, daughter, whoever it may be, just... Just tell them, say, sit down. I just want to talk to you a little bit. And I want to tell you about my Lord. What happened many, many years ago. And and I ain't been the same since. Paul, he used his testimony down there on Kenny. Hey, Jesus. Jesus ain't the testimony. He ain't the testimony. Come on, Come on brother. Like the church, we love you. We appreciate you again. Thank you for the kind uh, uh, offering you gave it to us. We'll use it for the Lord's work. And so, again. We, when we get there, we got rewards untold. Amen. 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 We've done things that we wouldn't have thought of getting no reward for. There'll be rewards. Amen. Come on, Amen. preach. Amen. 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 Amen.